In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the best keyboard shortcuts that any game developer should know to help code faster. I'm going to be showing all of these shortcuts on Mac, but I'll also include the Windows keys so that if you're on Windows, you can use them as well. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to show some Godot specific hotkeys so that if you're a Godot developer, you can use them to really speed up and improve your Godot workflow. Let's get started. The first shortcut that we're going to look at is tab and shift tab. Now you've probably used tab tons of times throughout your life, but a lot of people don't know that you can actually use shift tab to tab the other way. So if I hit tab, it'll move forward. And if I shift tab, it'll go back. One of the cool things about shift tab in many languages is that you don't actually need to, it's not position dependent. So I can shift tab anywhere in the line and I will move the whole line back a tab. Now you can't really do that with tab. This is a little bit Godot specific, but it's it's common in a lot of word processing and, and editors. But so shift tab is a great way to move things forward and back. And you can also do it with multiple lines at a time. So see here, if I select multiple lines, it doesn't matter where they're selected. If I tab, all of them will move forward. And if I shift tab, all of them will move backwards. And this is true for VS Code and lots of other popular editors. So tab and shift tab are very helpful when you're trying to move blocks of code or blocks of words forward and backwards at the same time. The next hotkey is Command C or Command X, which is Control C or Control X. And you might be thinking I've used this for the entirety of my life and you probably have. But the thing I wanted to show is that you don't actually need to select the line if you want to copy a line. So instead of having to, if I wanted to copy line 42 here, instead of having to copy the whole thing and hit Command C, I can actually just hit Command C if I don't have anything selected and my cursor's on the line, Command C, and then if I do Command V, it'll paste the whole line. So if you don't select anything, you can copy the entire line, and that works for cutting as well, without needing to select the entire line. Okay, and now we're gonna get into the really cool stuff, which is Option plus left or right. And on Windows, this is Control and left or right. And what this does is it lets you move not just one character left or right if I'm pressing the left and right arrow keys, but if I hold Option while I do this or Control on Windows and hit Option left or right, I'll move backwards and forwards an entire word. So it'll let you traverse a word at a time instead of just a character at a time. This is a really great way to navigate between words on the same line when you're trying to change multiple things on the line. It's a super, super helpful key to know. Option left to right or control left to right. This also applies if you hold down the shift key at the same time. So option shift left to right will let you select whole entire words with just one keystroke and having instead of having to do shift and left and right the, all the way to the end of the line. So option left and right and control left and right. The next key, or the next hotkey, and this is truly one of the ones I use all of the time is option up or down or on Windows, it's alt left or down. And what this does is it lets you move the current line that you're on up or down. So if I hit option and go up, it'll move line 42 up and it'll switch it with line 41. So now 42 has become 41 and vice versa. So it doesn't delete, but it switches. And if I hit option down, it'll move that line back to where it used to. So option up and down are super helpful because it'll let you move lines without having to like copy one and then print it and then get rid of the other line. It's way quicker to just do this. Now you can't do this in Godot, but in many code editors, if you hold option shift up or down or alt shift up or down, it will copy this line into the next one. So it would be like doing command C and then doing this. If I hit option shift up or option shift down. Again, I can't really show that in Godot, but option up or down or alt up or down is an incredible, incredibly important and useful hotkey to know. This next hotkey is somewhat Mac specific, but there are ways to copy it on a Windows, and that is Command left or right. Now what this does is it moves you to the beginning or end of a line. So Command left, beginning of the line, Command right, end of the line, and it is smart about knowing tabs or white space at the beginning of a line. So you'll see it doesn't take me all the way to the end, but it actually just takes me to the smart place, which is at the beginning of the actual characters on the line. Now on Windows, again, you can't really do this because control left and right go for a single word. So it doesn't really work the same, but you can hit home to go to the beginning of the line and end to go to the end of the line on Windows. So it's somewhat of the same. You're still able to keep on your keyboard without having to use your cursor, but it is a nice thing about Mac that you can just use command left or right to go to the beginning or end of a line. 
Okay, so those are just a few really basic but incredibly helpful and important hotkeys to know if you're working in code or even in word processors. You'll find that these work on Google Chrome, on an internet browser, in Microsoft Word, and really any program, but it's especially true if you're staring at code all day and working and doing programming and having to move bunches of text around all day. Now that we've covered those, we're gonna move into the Godot specific section. And the first one that I wanna point out is Command K. And I believe it is Control K on Windows. And what Command K does is it comments out a line. So if I select line 42 and hit Command K, all of a sudden it gets commented out. I can hit Command K to reverse this as well. Now, in a lot of non or other programs that aren't Godot, you can do this like in VS Code, you can do Command uh, forward slash, I believe. Now that, that's not a high key in Godot, but like in VS Code and many editors, command slash will let you comment out a line. And you can select multiple lines and do this. So even in Godot, if I select these three lines and hit command K, it'll comment all of them out. Command K again, will uncomment them all. Super helpful if you just need to comment out a big section of code at a time, but don't wanna go through and actually comment them out and write the hashtag on all of them. This next hotkey involves using the scene tree in Godot. And here you see a preview of my text retro text adventure tutorial series that I've got coming out. So if this looks interesting or you're interested in making a retro text adventure, you should definitely check out that video, but we'll just use kind of this background for this. So this hotkey involves actually running your good, your Godot game from your front with a hotkey so you can run your godot game by hitting this button up here and you can run your current scene by hitting this button here but you'll see the hotkeys on these command b and command r to run your entire game from your main scene or command r to run your current scene so if i've got a bunch of other scenes here but i want to run this specific scene this the parent of what i'm currently looking at which is this text adventure demo i can hit command r to run just this scene and you'll see here we are and i can type now I've got a completely different scene set as my main scene here. And so if I come to this text adventure demo and hit command B, we'll see our main scene is actually what gets run, which is a totally different scene. And so there you go, command B and command R to run your entire game or to run your current scene respectively are super helpful to know in Godot and prevent you from having to keep mousing up to the corner up here every time you wanna run something. To finish off, we're going to go over three incredibly important hotkeys for working with the scene tree in Godot, and they are Command A, which is adding a new node, Command D, which duplicates the currently selected node, and Command Backspace, which deletes the currently selected node. So say if I come down here and I've got my caret right here, say I want to add a picture to this. Well, if I want to add a texture rect, I could come up to this plus button and find it in here, but that's kind of a hassle when I could just hit Command A and pop that window up by itself. And then I can search and add a texture rect or button or whatever I want. So command A will open up a open up the add node dialog and notice that if I add one, it's a child of the currently selected node. So because I had caret selected, it automatically adds it as a child of that node. So I'll get rid of this now. Even this is a good example of how I can delete a node. Instead of right clicking on this node and finding delete somewhere in this big branch and it's down at the bottom, you'll see that there's actually a hotkey here, command backspace. So if I select this and hit command backspace, I'll be able to delete it. And then I can just hit under and I'm able to delete something and navigate the scene tree without ever having to touch my mouse or trackpad, which is very convenient. Now, the next thing that's really helpful is duplicating a node. Oftentimes, if you have a scene and you wanna duplicate it or populate it a bunch of times in your game, you're gonna to want to duplicate it a lot. And you can just select it and right click and hit duplicate, but it's much faster to just use this Command D shortcut. So let's say I wanna have an extra caret here. Well, I can just hit Command D, and then there's gonna be two, and I can keep doing it over and over and over again. And you can't really see it now because they're all uh, children of this panel container but I can add as many, I can just keep duplicating the same nodes over and over again with Command D. And if I select all these, I can hit Command Backspace to delete collective nodes, hit Enter, and just like that. So these are just some really simple, basic hotkeys and shortcuts about using Godot, the engine, the code editor, and just navigating the scene tree that'll dramatically help improve and make your workflow faster. It's just easier and it helps you become more familiar with the engine and you're just able to be more productive. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and that you felt like you've learned some useful hotkeys and shortcuts to make your programming workflow better. 
If it has, a like and subscribe to support the channel are always appreciated. We'd love to have you in our Discord server. The link to that is in the description. And if you found my work helpful, you can donate a coffee on Buy Me A Coffee, and that helps me continue to make great tutorials for free. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.